Hi, I'm Logan Medish, and this is High Caliber History. Now, I'm at Lewis and Grant Auctions, and I'm looking at some of the beautiful firearms that are coming up in their May 2021 arms and armor sale. And I stumbled upon this revolver. There is an unwritten rule in the gun collecting community that if you're walking up and down the tables at a gun show and you see a beautifully engraved and embellished Colt single action army revolver, you are duty bound to stop and examine and soak up the beauty and art on that gun. Well, I don't know that it's actually an unwritten rule, but uh, I'd like to think that it is, because if you walk past the beauty of a gun like this, shame on you. This is a fantastic Buntline single action army here. This particular gun was engraved by Howard Dove, and he was a world-renowned master of firearms engraving. He also holds the distinction of being one of only two men in the modern era to be employed in the capacity of the custom shops of both Colt and Winchester at the same time. Especially appreciated for the quality of his inlay work, Mr. Dove's clientele included Gene Autry, Sammy Davis Jr., Hank Williams Jr., John Wayne, his son Michael Wayne, Tom Selleck, and numerous others. Howard was also known as the unofficial official engraver to the Colt Collectors Association, which brings us to the gun that's on the table here. This blue and case-hardened Buntline Colt Single Action Army in 45 caliber has a 12-inch barrel, scrimshawed ivory grips, and exceptional full D-plus factory coverage with yellow and white gold inlays. Now to put this into perspective, if you were to order a single action army engraved with D coverage from the custom shop at Colt, it would start at $13,000. And this is far beyond your average D Colt engraved gun. Howard made this gun for the Colt Collectors Association show in St. Louis, Missouri in 1993. And this is likely one of the final guns that he worked on because he passed away the following year when he was just 52 years old. There's some awesome thematic engraving on this that relates to the fact that the show was being held in St. Louis that year. So for example, it has the St. Louis skyline, the Gateway Arch, the New Orleans steamboat, uh, a bust of Mark Twain, and plenty of other beautiful nods to the water and the area there. The barrel says the father of the waters. Uh, there is a sailboat on here. And then the grips are ivory and they are scrimshawed and they both have a trapper and a Native American on them, one on each side. And then the back strap of the gun says the Mississippi. It is an absolutely exceptional gun. Um, Howard's work is unmatched and unrivaled. Uh, even though this gun was made near the end of his life, um, he was in his prime. Uh, it's, it's not as if he was nearing the end of his life in old age. Uh, Howard passed away at just 52, and so he was at his peak of performance, and it absolutely shows on this gun. Uh, it is exceptionally well laid out and designed. Uh, every inch of this gun is designed to be to the utmost of precision and pleasing to the eye. Uh, he, ta he takes great care uh, with how he lays things out on the gun, the placement of different pieces. Uh, this is truly a master at work, uh, and Howard Dove was a master of his craft, and it absolutely shows in this gun. Each and every line that he cut on here was very thoughtfully, uh, carefully and thoughtfully placed and executed to create an absolute masterpiece of a firearm. Um, and in fact, Howard holds the record of having uh, sold and fetched the highest price for a non-commemorative Colt factory engraved gun at one of the Colt Collectors Association annual auctions. So to add a gun like this 
to your collection. Whether you are just a fan of engraving, or if you are a fan of Colts, maybe you're a St. Louis native, uh, maybe you're a Howard Dove enthusiast, maybe you're a fan of bunt lines. Um, whatever it is, it's all covered in this gorgeous, gorgeous gun here. Um, and it'll be available for a new home in the May 2021 Arms and Armor sale from Lewis and Grant Auctions. Um, if you're in the market for something like this, there's no better place to find it uh, than at the Lewis and Grant sale coming up. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed uh, ogling this gun as much as I have. Um, you might wanna wipe the bit of drool off of your screen there. Um, but again, thank you for watching and we'll see you right here on the next episode of High Caliber History.